Hi crafters, this is Ivy with Craft Attic Studio and I'm going to make a tutorial on making trick-or-treat bags. Um, they look like this when they're done. I have Boo on one side and a cute little ghost and trick-or-treat on the other side. So here we go. So you can get these treat bags just about anywhere really. It sells uh, candy and crafts. I got these at Hobby Lobby. Um, and the first thing you do is you fill them up with treats. Well, I'm not too good at filling here. Lots of popsicles and things on a stick. Okay, so you fill it with all the treats that you want. Okay, and then it's ready for the toppers. So, I found these cute little, this cute paper, Halloween paper, in an all seasons paper pack from Hobby Lobby. And it is cut six inches by four inches. And then you want to score it down the middle, <clears throat> which I've already kind of scored it, so I'm just going to hit it with my fingers. Okay, so you take your treat bag, and I like to fold it over once so things just, you know, are in there nice and secure. And then you take your topper and you put it right over the top. And then I take my stapler and I put two little staples in it. One on this corner and one on this corner toward the bottom. Okay, now I stamped this little card with a boo stamp and this is three inches by one and a half inches wide. It's three by one and a half. So I am going to take, turn this over and I'm going to glue it to one side of my topper. right in the center and then I made this little ghost also it's a shadow and I don't know if you can see that too good shadow out of black and then the white top and then you just layer them to make your little ghost face so I'm gonna glue those together now And I like to look, use the pin glue when I'm doing things that have little intricate cuts on it so that I get down in the little finger areas. Okay. And this also makes it easy to move it around a little bit if you have to before the glue dries. Okay, and then let's glue the back of this little ghost. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to put him kind of down on the paper also and then I am gonna glue my little orange circle and I am gonna stick this on the other side and it's just a cute and quick and easy little trick-or-treat bag for your little kiddos that come to your door or even for your grandchildren like I'm 
made mine for. Anyway, have a great day and thank you for watching.